Welcome to First Lego League, and thank you for being part of our exciting program. The FLL program has two main components, the robot game and the research project. The goal of this instructional DVD is to help clarify the research project component for teams and coaches, to help teams understand the project process and goals, and lastly, to show sample presentations which will provide an experienced insider's view of the research project component. The purpose of the project is to engage teams in further exploration of the annual challenge topic. Teams are asked to identify and explore a problem related to the challenge using a variety of resources. Develop a creative solution to a problem that researchers and scientists face today. Combine what was learned into a fun and informative presentation and share the presentation with others to raise awareness and understanding of the problem and the solution. As a coach, you'll guide your team through the process, helping them discover their own interests and abilities and share this knowledge with each other, friends, families, and the community. If you're not sure where to begin, well, you're not alone. So let's start at the very beginning. Each year, the project is announced at the start of the FLL season as part of the online kickoff. The project is tied directly to the annual challenge, and just like the game, information is posted on the FLL website. The project question is open-ended in order to encourage teams to explore a variety of ideas, topics, and presentation styles. We feel this approach helps to foster creativity and also allows teams to explore lots of different areas of the challenge. Let your team choose a topic that's of interest to them, but be flexible because sometimes the focus of the project could change as a result of their research. This is an opportunity to have fun and research things that interest them. This may be slightly different from the usual classroom approach. Enthusiastic, invested teams are more likely to wow the judges at the tournament. As teams decide on a problem, they need to come up with an innovative solution using technology and or robotics. Teams should consider how the problem is currently being solved, if at all, and determine how they can improve the current solution or develop an entirely different one. Innovation can mean a totally new idea, or it can mean using something that already exists in a new or different way. The solution is about advancing technology and combining traditional research with inventorship. Your solution doesn't need to be completely feasible, however your research should apply to the creative solution. Understand the project. As a team, carefully read the project information at the FLL kickoff. It will describe what the project is and what needs to be done. Print the instructions and make copies for each team member. Work together to create a list of questions and see which ones the team can answer and which ones they need to explore further. FLL provides web links to different information resources to help your team get started. The FLL Forum is a team-driven resource to facilitate communication with other teams to learn what they're doing with their projects and robots. Please remember the Forum is just a discussion between teams. First Lego League is the official source to go to for all questions. Teams are encouraged to send questions to flleams at usfirst.org. Time Investment Generally, teams spend between two and three hours a week on the project, with each member doing some research on their own, which they then share at the team meetings. The more time invested, the better your team will perform at the tournament. Project Rubric In the Coach Handbook, there's a project rubric which outlines the skills that the team should be working on for their presentation. This is a guide for teams to use as they prepare their project for presentation. At the tournament, judges will use this same rubric to help assess the team. Selecting the problem. Once your team understands the project, brainstorm different ideas on which problem they would like to work on and ideas for a solution. Next, discuss the variety of ways to approach the problem and solve it. In brainstorming, there are no bad ideas. Record everyone's ideas and then work to narrow down the list. Choose something everyone is interested in and during your team meetings, allocate enough time to report on your research progress. Learn more about the problem. After selecting the idea your team likes the best, have members start learning more about this topic. Teams should use a variety of sources for their information. The web has lots of links to online resources such as journals, research papers, and websites. Contact universities who may currently be researching the topic. Invite local experts to come and talk with your team or visit them at their work site. 
And don't forget, your local library is a powerful resource. Remember, it's okay to change course midstream. Some of the best ideas come from learning about something else. Presentation style. Deciding on how to present the information to the judges and others can be really fun. Brainstorming is helpful to generate lots of ideas for the presentation style. Talk about ways the kids like to learn. For example, do they like to play games, watch TV shows, listen to the radio or play on the computer? Do they like to read or write stories? Do they have a favorite movie, song or dance? Who is their favorite teacher, mentor, friend? And why do they like them? Are they funny? Do they tell great stories? Formats that have been used in the past range from PowerPoint presentations to games and skits. Key Presentation Ideas Include the important information that your team learned during their research. Strong presentations are informative, engaging, and oftentimes amusing. Simple, easy-to-use props and costumes often help the team explain their ideas. Make sure the presentation is tied together with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Practice. A rehearsed team is a confident team. Practice your presentation as much as possible, including setup and breakdown. Confirm presentation time with your event organizer. Most tournaments allow only five minutes to present, including setup. Teams need to set up the presentation with little to no adult assistance. Teach your team to speak clearly so the judges can hear what's being communicated. Think about questions the judges might ask and discuss how your team would answer them. And include all your team members in the presentation and Q&A rehearsals. Share your presentation. Sharing your presentation with others is a great way to practice. Here are some potential audiences. Classmates in school, local cable access TV channel, posters or newspaper articles, community or service organizations. Create a website and let others know about it. And encourage the audience to ask questions and make comments. Be open to add or change content if your team thinks that these suggestions are helpful. Tournaments. Teams present their projects to a panel of judges at FLL tournaments. Judging sessions, including room setup and schedules, vary by tournament, so contact your organizer for the specific information. Tournament schedules keep the entire day running smoothly. Teams should review their schedule and allow plenty of time to get to their required areas for rounds and judging. Check with the tournament organizer to learn what will be available in the judging room. Make sure your team brings their props, computers, and any other materials needed for their presentation. Some tournaments allow spectators, while others do not. Generally, teams have about one minute to set up for the presentation. This could be separate from the five-minute presentation, so double-check this with your tournament organizer. Usually, there are two judges in the room who welcome the team and tell them when to begin. Judges will not allow teams to exceed the allocated presentation time. Following the presentation, judges will ask questions. Generally, this discussion lasts four to five minutes. It's not meant to be intimidating, but rather to help the judges gather more information about the problem, solution, research, and the team. Questions range from how the team chose their ideas to the process the team used for the project. Judges use a score sheet during deliberation that correlates to the main criteria listed in the rubric. Teams may receive a formal callback or informal visit by the judges if they are being considered for an award. At some tournaments, teams receive a comment sheet at the end of the day that identifies your team's strengths and areas for improvement. Awards First LEGO League has a set of awards given out at all official tournaments. The Project Award is one of these required awards and part of the structure used to determine FLL's top award, the Champions Award. The Project Award may be broken into three separate awards, Research Quality, Innovative Solution, and creative presentation, or as one single award. The tournament organizer will be making this determination. We hope you have found this instructional DVD helpful as you prepare for another exciting FLL season. If you have any more questions, please contact flllteams at usfirst.org.